this is probably, besides a little bit of a blip in 2008, this is, this is we come into the end of it, or we're, we're at the end of a 24 year boom. I mean, this is unprecedented in my lifetime and, and, and in yours. Mm. Uh, there are, there are some other great points. When this happened before, uh, interest rates were at a hideous high level. It's totally different at the moment. Money's never been cheaper. So um, some great opportunities. I'm really confident, positive about it. I think it's going to be for those that make it and know what they're doing and they've got the tools, I think 2019 is going to be a cracky year. Yep, I, I, I would agree. And let's, let's I think, cover off on what, what this webinar is going to be about. Um, sort of moving forward. So here's the agenda. For everybody that's tuning in, um, for those of you who have Jiggler accounts, and that's probably 90% of you, most of you probably are thinking, should I use it? Do I use it? How do I get the most out of it? Let's let's be clear on what the mission is today. And really, we've got three simple things we want to take away from today. We want to help you discover what the best marketing templates are to get your phone to ring. Ultimately, if you're going to exchange time for money, we want to make sure that you're getting the absolute most amount of money for your time as possible. So that's thing number one. What are the best templates and when should you use them? I want to share that with you. The second one is I want to give you some structure around a marketing plan. I want to give you some structure. I want to help you today um, target some expired listings, some draw listings in your marketplace. What should you do for January to get your phone to ring? What should you do in December? Um, but more importantly, as the analogy goes, what what can we get you to do today to help you park your car on top of the hill? And what I mean by that is, in the olden days, you know, cars were very unreliable. If you didn't start them for a day or so, um, they wouldn't start anymore. So what people used to do is park them on top of a hill. So if they didn't start, you could you know, pop start them, clutch start them down, down the hill. I want to give you guys some strategies to park that car on top of the hill this year. E.g., what can we put in place today, tomorrow, before the end of this year to make sure that when you get 2019, you're already at the top of the hill and we're already filling our pipelines. That's one of my big goals for you today. Um, and then also just want to show you some tips and tricks to show you the best to get, um, you know, to get the most out of your Jiggler account. So they're the three things um, that I really want to sort of, I suppose, drill down on um, in today's session. So uh, I think we've, if you want to handle some of those questions, Ray, that are coming in or the chats, um, I, that was just you, actually. Welcome, everybody. That was just me what? saying, 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 Buller to everyone. <laughs> so, all right. Well, why don't we just get into it? And we're talking step one: um, discover the best marketing templates to get the phone to ring. Do you want to start off, Ray? Um, maybe with just some 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 of the social media stuff around Christmas. I will. I will. Um, do you want me to look at Christmas tabs specifically, or? my other ideas because I've got a few things here well, I can share. Yeah, yeah, far away. Some of those. Um, one of the ones that I'm getting, a, I'm speaking to a lot of Jiggler agents and they're just having some fun with Facebook posts at the moment. Sometimes they're posting their own images there and they're putting copy over them. Basically, it's as easy as that. So if, if you want to just go, you can go to your Jiggles, you can go and grab a blank template and you can just simply throw up a shape in like so got a little bit of internet lag here because i'm a little way away but tell me if that's not coming through yeah, so yeah i can say that okay profile profile that that's not highlighted that is highlighted you can see the little dots that's the way that it's been designed and then all you're going to do is you're going to find an image here so um best wishes like best wishes or Great. Here's just like, just grab and like, you're really going to be able to engage people with, with a good image. So that's, that's where it makes a difference. Um, you can, you can change it. Like you could say surf, surfs up. So a property prices, you, you can make a play on it. Um, or you can just do a family shot. You can, you can do whatever. So you've just got plenty of options. If you want to grab a free photo and I don't think I've I think I've done this before Aaron without spending a lot of time on it but there's a cool new website that I'm telling a lot of people about and you might want to make a note of this guys if you if you if I haven't already bored you stupid with it it's called unsplash.com and you can essentially find your own your own um your own images here that you're not paying anything for yeah, ro so royalty free images are great so you can get creative thank you Thank you. That's coming from a guy, which is me, who um, 
once uh, was fined nearly five grand by Getty Images for using a, an image that wasn't royalty free. So be very, and I didn't even know it was in place. So be very, very careful. You can quickly download it and I won't go through the process, but yeah, it's downloading. Then I can upload that straight into my Jiggler account. Obviously, as you all know, if you're in Jiggler and you're on your dashboard, well, you can't, you can't basically upload an image until you've uploaded it into your Jiggler library. So that's just one. While that's uploading, I'll have a bit of fun with this. Obviously, um, probably not relevant this time of year unless you've got auctions coming up, but you can promo anything that you like with that. That's an Instagram post. Here's a Facebook post, and you can have some fun with the with the different shapes and colors and things, and you can use your transparency tool. So this is a, this is a, this is a uh, template that you'll find in your social media posts. So you just simply grab that. And let's say I'm a Harcourts agent. So I want to make this a bit more Harcourtish, uh, obviously with a blue film overlay. And there's my transparency. I can make that as blue or, 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 or as not as I want. Then I can just change it, throw my logo in and that sort of thing. So it's really easy to just get in and have some fun. Don't forget, we've got hundreds of templates there all ready to go and, and uh, ready, to, ready to get to work for you. So... Don't forget the power of the image. The image is really important. People don't like reading a lot of copy, but they love they love checking out the image. Well, I think one of the things you said there hits the nail on the head. The amount of um, the amount of templates we've actually got. Um, there's over 250 sort of templates in there now. Um, yep. So one of the things when we're talking about marketing ideas, a couple of the things I really just wanted to start with. Um, and as you was just showing, it's so easy to sort of edit a template or manipulate it, change it to suit yourself. But if you're an agent sitting in your office right now and you're like, well, you know, and here's the bottom line, guys, let's be real. It's not about who you know in real estate. It's about who knows you. That's really important to remember. So my, my thoughts right here are, how do you become more known? And I think the, the easiest place, the, the fastest place to get traction is to create or uh, raise or create more awareness around your social media pipes. So the first thing I'm sitting here saying, right, coming into Christmas, the glaringly obvious templates to start using to start engaging your audience are all the different Christmas templates. Um, you know, we've got Facebook posts and we've got Instagram posts. So you've got your two different posts that you can sort of plug into. And then more importantly, you've also got some banners around Christmas as well. Here's the thing, you know, the content and the marketing that you do doesn't always have to be about how much you sold something or how much you sold something for or how good you are. So most of the time, it's just about consistency because consistency breeds trust. That's the most important thing here. And what I see a lot of agents do is they start with a head full of steam and then they abandon it because they're not getting immediate results. So what I'm proposing here is within Jiggler itself, we've got... We've just added six new Facebook um, banners. And what I've been proposing is change them up every couple of days. Change the banner. Change it so it's fresh on your page. Change it so you're appearing in people's timelines. They're seeing your name. People are remembering who you are. They're seeing you updating content. Then you can move down to your actual um, social media posts with, you know, Merry Christmas, um, enjoy, drink, eat, and be merry. You know, you don't have to post all of them, but certainly schedule two or three of these um, over the coming weeks leading up to Christmas. Um, you know, we've added approximately 20 Christmas templates that you can just plug into and use. So here's my thing. We're talking about best marketing templates. Use what's in front of you. No point creating the wheel or recreating or reinventing the wheel. Use what's in front of you. Get in and use some of these before the end of the year. So that would, for me, be step one. But now let's talk about something a little bit more nitty gritty and a little bit more heavy. Um, and realistically, what we're talking about is Christmas um, competitions and engagement around, yeah. um, you know, engaging your farm area, engaging your database, right? Um, I spelled that wrong. I was trying to spell it fast. Um, so for, for Christmas, like one of the first things that we look at is, okay, how do you engage your, your farm area? You know, if you do what everybody else does, you're going to get what everybody else gets. So let me give you two great ideas that you can execute between now and uh, Christmas Day. And the first one is a colouring in competition around... A proven idea. 
It's a proven idea, but more importantly, it builds goodwill and more and most importantly, it collects data for your database. So it's a pretty simple concept. Colouring in competition on the back, or sorry, on the front, and your details uh, on the back. We've done all the terms and conditions, so we've made it nice and easy for you. You know, you can enter a prize, um, and again, being Jiggler, you sort of just drop, drag, you know, your images. Um, yeah. Your prize is what you want your prize to be. Um, sort of drag them into place, um, put them where you want them, um, and then, you know, determine the voucher, when the draw will be on, and then this is how it works. Contestants' details go in there. In terms of an entry uh, for, for the competition, then your details down the bottom. You know, sim really simple to edit. Select the logo with your mouse, click delete um, on the um, on your keyboard. Insert new image. I want to browse my image library. I've already got an image, my logo saved. I'll insert that. Uh, it's pretty easy, actually. It's so easy. Oops, moved up the page. Aaron, if you were if you were going to do that, if you were going to give that to a graphics person, firstly, they've got to get all the information together. They'd probably copy it from somewhere, but they're going to charge you hundreds of bucks. Oh, yeah. So no doubt. it's a double-sided template. So with your Jiggler account, you can jump in and get it for peanuts. And the whole concept with this is proven, stunning-looking graphics on a shoestring. You can yep. get stuff Well, when you've been chatting, I've been editing it. You know, I've been putting in my logo, putting in my photo. I've got my details uh -huh. in, it's basically ready yep. to go. So my yep. point is this, if you're sitting there saying, well, what's this going to do for me? Well, I can tell you this, straight off the bat, the first thing it's going to do is it's people are going to come in and drop this in for you. So you're going to be having conversations with people in your office that didn't necessarily know you yesterday, that know you today. That's thing number one. Thing number two, now you've got some more people to add to your database so that you can now communicate with on an ongoing basis throughout the years. Um, as I said, it's, you know, typically we don't run out of contacts to, we don't run out of contacts to commute, to, to, we don't run out of contacts to communicate with, we just run out of courage to keep communicating. My point is if you can come up with some really good engaging ways to add people to the database, it's easy. So for me, one of the very first things that I'd be doing sitting in everybody's shoes right now is saying, right, I've got 10, 11, 12 days before Christmas, let's get out. Um, this Christmas colouring in competition, and I might go on Letterbox, drop 500 of these. I might put some of these out the front of my office, and let's see if I can engage some people. So that would be one of the best marketing ideas that I could recommend you do between now um, and the end of Christmas. The next one, which is one of our all-time favourites, and that is a letter from Santa, right? And how does this work? What you can do very, very simply, very, very easily, um, you can create this as a PDF, so, you know, within Jiggler, you've got different saving um, options. You can save it as a JPEG, um, as an image, or you can save it as a PDF. And it's pretty simple. All you're doing is saving it as a PDF. You email this, right? You email this to every client, every buyer, every potential seller, any person you have in your email, uh, on your email list in your database, email them. Email them and give them this and it basically just says get into the spirit of christmas if you want your kid to get a letter from santa um just tell us what your kids details are and tell us where to send it and then it's a great way also to make sure that you're updating your client database with accurate and up-to-date information um but save you know save the template edit it but then email it um email it out to them and what will end up happening you're going to get some replies saying oh my kid would love a letter from santa Awesome. Then what you go and do? You go and you go and jump online, or you go to one of the craft stores and go buy some Christmas paper, like some Christmas letterhead. So it's not on your logo. Um, it's not on your letterhead. It's just because this is designed to go to a kid, um, and it just has dear child's name, where they live, and a letter from Santa. Now, here's what I know, right? We we're entitled our fee as a real estate agent for doing what we say we're going to do. That's what entitles us our fee. We are entitled to referrals for going above and beyond, doing things that weren't expected of us, but we do them anyway. And, you know, sending, you know, offering the service of getting a letter from Santa is going above and beyond. One of our Jiggler clients, Alex um, from Biwa, um, 
last year he did this and the response he got was unprecedented. Uh, he letterbox dropped it, he got an overwhelming response. Then he put it in the paper, got an overwhelming response. Then what ended up happening, the paper ended up doing a good news story on him. And what ended up happening, how it evolved is, he dressed up, he, he bought a Santa suit, he was dressing up as Santa in his office and he had a queue of people out the door coming to get the letters from Santa. And even till today, people are still talking to him about, oh, you're the guy that dressed as Santa, the amount of goodwill it brought him um, and how much um, awareness around Alex um, created. Like, you know, he said to me, like, this template directly resulted in six plus deals. Well, hello, um, you know, if, if, if one person can do it, it's, it's capable for everybody. So, again, let's just do a quick recap. Three, three of the best marketing templates so far. Get busy with your socials. Colouring in competition for the farm area. Email this to your database to engage your pipeline sellers. So, Aaron, quick, quick yeah. question. The, the colouring in comp, that's something that you're going to drop into your farm area? Letterbox drop that one, yeah, for sure. Yep. Letterbox drop it. Yep. You know, if you haven't got much on in the next few day, next two days, go print three, four hundred. Get out there, drop them. It's not um, a social media thing, though. It's something that you want to. It's something no. that you want to connect directly into into your community. I would have thought. Correct, correct. Now, this one, on the other hand, the, the letter from Santa. This can be a social media activity. Um, yep. This can be turned into a yep. social media post because it's realistically yep. only the front page. Um, yep. So you can post that on social media. Save it as an image. Um, you, know, ch you know, edit your details, post it on social media, email it to your database, send it to your landlords um, and see what happens. You know, it just builds goodwill. You know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And this is a really great way to show people that you're prepared to go above and beyond in your business and not just, you know, process um, the business that's in front of you. Now, the next thing when we're talking about marketing, I reckon calendars are one of the most underrated things that we can do as an agent. Let me explain. Yeah. They say it takes 24 points of contact for somebody to remember who you are and what you do. Um, a calendar does that because you know, it goes on a fridge. How many times a day um, does somebody walk past um, their fridge? How many times a day do people go to their fridge? So with that being said, um, I, would, I would certainly um, look at employing, uh, deploying a calendar um, quickly uh, for 2019, getting them dropped at the beginning of the year, um, making sure that your calendar with your details goes on um, their fridge um, would be would be my um, would be my recommendation with a matter of haste because here's what I know: it takes 18 to 24 points of contact for someone to remember uh, your name, but, but also you want to make sure that when they're going to their fridge 10 times a day, they're seeing who you are, um, they're seeing they're, they're seeing you around. So. Um, I think I think it's really important. Okay, so um, that would be one of the things I would I would definitely suggest uh, you implement. It's again cost effective. You might um, tar as far as your target audience goes. You might just go and drop 500 of these or get a thousand of these printed and um, and get them out. So I'm now for all the females uh, listening here. You have got to hang in there with me. I'm a male. I can either speak to you or I can move my mouse. I struggle to do. Before. At the same time, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good. I can concentrate. I can't multitask. I can't multitask. So if I, if you see me sort of struggling to speak and drag my mouth, it's because my processor can only do one one thing at a time. Um, if I was not speak, um, I could whip this up pretty quick. But if I'm speaking, it takes me a little bit longer. Um, but as you can see, I'm just sort of you know mucking around, um, taking off logos, adding logos on. It's really simple to use. Um, one of the one of the things I'm finding people are using a whole lot, Aaron, is the uh, is the is the clipping tool. So you just simply create a shape, might be a circle, might be a square. Then you highlight that, and you can throw your image straight into it, which is which is a really super easy thing to do. So yeah. let, let me just ask a quick question: Can you can you put your hand up if you're using Jiggler on a regular basis, like at least obviously every week and sometimes you know every day? Are you using it to throw posts together? Are you using it to put, um, get flyers together to communicate with your market and stuff like that? So, um, yeah, cool. Okay, we're getting some hands raised there. That's good. So if you've got, if you've got the use of this, then then you know you, it, it's there for you to use. 
Have you got any specific questions around around what's going on, or is there anything specifically at this point that we can help you with? Just uh, we're among friends here, so if you've got any questions, questions, just type them into the chat, and uh, and we'll we can answer them as as we as we move forward because we're here to help. We want it to be successful for you, and and please, guys, keep in mind these are these are battle tested. These are these are proven in the field ideas that. Uh, are set up for you and ready to use. So um, there's plenty of, there's, you've got plenty of opportunities. Here's a here's a letter. Hi, Wendy, how you doing? Do you think it'd be too late to start a Santa letter campaign this close to Christmas? No, go for it. It's only, what, we're only the 12th or 13th or something like yeah. that. I forget what day it is, yeah. but there's plenty of time going on. And can I just mention one thing as well? And I, I think this is a bit of an Australian, I'll call it an Australian affliction and a Kiwi affliction as well. What happens is that, for the last half of December and basically the first half or most of January, everybody seems to have in their mind that nothing's going to happen in real estate. Please believe me when I say there's a lot happening in real estate and the market is completely all between your ears. And it's not its not your market, it's your, it's your marketing. So um, don't hold back. Don't think that everybody's doing nothing. There's so many cost-effective ideas here that you can get out. Like people, I, I think like... 15 years in a row, Aaron, we sold a house on Christmas Day Yeah. Um, because there were people out there looking. Um, we, were in a, we were in a good Christian neighbourhood, so it wasn't that. It just seemed to happen. Things came together. So never think that it's, uh, it's you know, it's it's going to drop off. Um, you know, just, yeah, Lee, thanks for your message, Lee. I've asked you to email me what you're doing um, and I'll, I'll let you know. I the it, it depends how many you're getting, getting them out and when when you're getting them out. Lee's been talking about his letterbox dropping, not getting the responses that he's looking for. So email me what you're doing. And what we might do is set up a call and I'll let you know exactly the formula that's working so well for everybody. In fact, anybody on this call, if you would like to do a one-on-one -on -one with Aaron or I, and we'll take you through what we know is working, um, please send us a message. It's ray or aaron at jiggler.com. We're here to help you. Yep, or I think they can just message the port and we both get it. Is that right? Yep. Yep. I think if you message support, it goes to both of us. Um, that so that or Aaron or Ray at Jiggler. Um, so either or, I guess that's how you can reach it. So one of the things, right? And, and I really want to sort of um, make sure we move through this to get you guys out on time. But for me, what I'm about to share with you is really important. What I'd love for everybody to be able to do is sort of grab a calendar if they can, or grab their phone and open their calendar because I'm about to do that myself. So here's what I know. Sometimes it's the, the marketing template that's important and sometimes it's the timing and sometimes it's both. What I'm about to share with you works really well when you combine a template with timing. And let me explain. One of my goals was to help you park the car on top of the hill today. And this is how I want to do it. So this template has been proven to be one of the most successful marketing templates in the real estate industry. It's been something that I've been using now for the past over a decade. Um, and we're going to give you a case study um, from a Jiggler user who's been getting really good results with it. But let me explain. Here's what I would propose. Between now being the 13th and the 21st when most people break, what I would propose you do is go and print out some of these. And when I say some of these, you can print them street by street or just suburb by suburb. So you can just you know, simply click into there and, and type in the, the, you know, the suburb that you want. Um, you know, residents of, you know, start editing it. You know, the great thing about Jiggler is if you know how to use a Word document, you know how to use Jiggler. That's basically um, what it is when you, once you've, once you've got the template sort of set up. Um, of, you know, so, but here's the goal. Between now and the 21st, here's what I'd love everybody to do. Start generating this template, edit it, print them out, right? Now you've got two audiences that you can target and two audiences you can run this campaign to. So you've got your database, which is audience one, and you've got your farm area, which is your, your second audience, okay? Um, now what's my point? You can print these between now, the 13th, and the 21st of December. Not necessarily send them, but have them all printed. What I know to be true is most people come back from holidays around the 7th of Jan, which is the Monday, right? So you might start letterbox dropping these to your farm area on the 8th, 9th or 10th of January. And then you might email and post 
um, and social media. This, um, again, on the 8th, 9th or 10th. So on the 8th, 9th or 10th, you're letterbox dropping it to your farm area, you're posting it, you're emailing it, you're, you're, you're letterbox, uh, sorry, you're posting it on social media, you're mailing it to your database, you're emailing it to them, because here's what's going to happen. Come the 14th, 15th, 16th of January, you're going to be busy with incoming phone calls, with people asking for appraisals, with people asking for updates on the market. But here's yeah. what I know. We're parking your car on top of the hill today. You're getting all next year's appraisals ready today. You're not, because what most agents do, they come back in body on the 7th of January. What I mean by body, there's mind, there's body and spirit. They come back in body on the 7th. They don't actually start working in spirit until about the 21st. So, but what I'm proposing you do is starting your prospecting campaign a little sooner. Um, get these things ready now. Modify these templates. Um, start using them. So the minute that that hammer drops for the beginning of the year, you're already into it. You're already getting um, appraisals. Okay, so what I just went and did there is just went and clicked, you know, um, change it to my agency colours. So the left hand bar, agency colours, then I clicked apply. Um, nice and simple, right? Um, now this, I reckon what I'm about to share with you, Ray, I reckon is probably the most underutilised um, tool um, in the Jiggler arsenal, and that's placing an image in a shape. Let me show you. Um, how you do that so easily, right? So I'm going to zoom in. So there's Ray's uh, head there, right? Well, and let me show you what most agents do and how they do it wrong. And then I'm going to show you how to do it right. So most people say, well, I don't want his head there. I want to put mine. So they'll go ahead and delete Ray. Then they come up to the image tool, right? They click Browse Library. Then they will select their photo and then they're going to place it just on the document. But now what happens, it's a big photo, they sort of got to drag it down, sort of resize it, sort of, you know, get it to where, yeah, that sort of looks good. But that's not the right way. Let me show you this. This is how easy it is to use it, right? This is how you delete the photo. See how there's a grey box there? You just click Place Image in Shape up here on the top left-hand corner. Place Image in Shape. And what that's going to do is automatically size my image straight into that box. Please, guys, if you're not using that tool, um, you're probably wasting a lot of time and a little bit of frustration trying to get the um, image to do what you want it to do. Place image in the shape is the number one tool, in my opinion, um, in, the, in the Jiggler um, sort of tool chest, how easy it is to sort of get a, get a photo um, into a spot. So Over time, it's going to save you hours. Like, oh, if you've yeah. got to manually do stuff, it's just a really cool time-saving tool. Yep, it is. I just thought I'd show that because I think it's pretty underrated. So, so let's look at some of the best tools, best marketing to get you set up. We've got your social media posts. You've got your colouring in competition. You've got your letter from Santa. You've got a, a campaign in January to get your phone to ring, right? Now what I want to share with you are just two really simple tools um, that you can use. And, and now... For the most of the people on this call today, most of you are in Australia and New Zealand. And let's be real, the tide is going out. And what I mean by the tide is going out, we are in a cooling market. So January and February is a great time of year to target withdrawn sales and expired listings. So let me explain the difference between those two things. Expired are people that are on the market that are out of agency agreement but are still for sale. So the vendor is still for sale but they're out of their exclusive period. You know, if you're in New South Wales, Queensland or Victoria, 90 day period. So they're longer than 90 days. They're an expired listing out of exclusive agreement but they're still on the market. Then you've got withdrawals, withdrawn sales. That's a little bit different because they're people that had their house on the market but then have withdrawn the property for sale. The signboard has come down and is completely off the market. So for me, they should be two big audiences you look to target in 2019. Let me explain. We've just been through the spring um, rush. And what I mean by that, there's always an increase of properties in September and October that hit the market, okay? So there's lots of properties that hit the market. And we know that properties aren't selling like they were. So what's my point? There's going to be a lot of people that are now just in the beginning of December, end of November, coming out of agency agreement. 
but they're still with their current agent because the vendors are having a discussion saying, you know what, honey, let's just leave it with the current agent for now. We're coming into Christmas anyway. Let's not change. Let's look at doing something in the new year. What I'm asking everybody on this call to do is jump into Jiggler today, start customising these templates, right? Start customising the, the selling roadmap and the and the checklist, here's why. These are great tools that you can use to go and engage. These are great tools that you can, you can use to go and engage um, expired listings. And what do I mean by that? You can simply mail it to them or you can door knock it and say, hey, I noticed that your property was for sale. By now, you should be starting to look to buy. Um, but if not, um, you know, here's, here's a little selling roadmap. And it's basic A4 document, double-sided, and it just has the steps on how to go from sale to sold. You know, one of the things I really like, Ray, using, and I don't care if it's any sales industry, it's called icebreakers. You want to make sure that when you're asking for something, you've got something to give them. Give to get marketing, give them an icebreaker, leave them with a gift. It's the law of reciprocity. You don't want to go empty-handed. So, you know, have a campaign that you can target expired listings. Have a campaign you can take that you can target with drawn listings. So you can use this as an expired with an expired listing because they're probably sitting there wondering, what can I do to get my property sold? So then this just tells a seller the process in 20 steps on how to go for sale to being sold. And again. Super easy document to edit. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Um, nice and simple. And that's a matter of you say, oh, well, I'm not red. No problems. Just collect, select your agency, click apply. And then it will cut, change it to whatever colours your colours are, your brand. We've got all the major brands already loaded in. So it's just as simple as selecting your brand and then you know applying those colours. But here's what I'd love to see happen. You create uh, or you generate create a list of 100 expired listings. And in January and February, you make it your mission to go and put one of these in every single person's hand and have a conversation with them. That's yes. gonna drastically improve your position between where you are right now and where you will be. Um, it's a sliding doors mode. You know, another one, just to share with you quickly, so again, conscious of your time, um, you know, this, this document, Ray, is, is one of the most popular documents um, in Jiggler. And I can tell you straight up, if you were to go to a graphic designer um, and try and not come to them with the IP, and what I mean by the IP, the intellectual property, not, but if you were going to pay a graphic designer um, and, and for them to create the IP and the look and feel of this document, this is a thousand dollar plus document. It's probably oh, actually no, it's closer to a two thousand dollar document. The great thing is we know we know because we've paid it. We know because we've paid it in the past. It's exactly right. So I'm trying to. But I'm sure plenty of people listening to this have done the same thing, Aaron. It's like yeah, no, I'm trying to be humble in the, the the thing as well. Instead of me like bouncing up and down saying this is how much it's going to cost, I'm trying to go softly. Um, yeah. And you know what? Here's what I know. Graphic designers when I and that's why I sort of choked on my words a bit and said if they were to put in the IP. Probably most graphic designers are. They're graphic designers. They don't know what IP to put in. They're there. not so marketers. No. They're not marketers. They don't know real estate. They, they, know, they know Adobe. Um, so for them to actually even build quality IP is next to impossible anyway. So take that out. So if you're going to supply them with your IP, it's going to take you literally days or weeks or months, depending on the size of the build. Um, and then it's still going to cost you thousands anyway. But my point is this. Um, here's one of my favourite documents and one of the most popular documents in Jiggler. And you go, well, how can I use this document? How do I use it? So let me um, just call it Home Seller. Um, so how do I use it? Well, a great way that you can use this document at this time of the year is you can go and chase all the withdrawn properties. So anybody that had their property on the market and took it off the market, go and generate this document go and drop one over to them. And it just might, even if you don't let speak to them at the door, you might just knock on the door and you might just simply say, hey, look, we noticed that you had the house on the market and it didn't sell. Um, typically, um, you know, marketing and presentation um, 
you know, always have a factor. I'm just giving you a little document that might help should you decide if you're going to put the property back on the market. And it's a, it's just an A3 piece of paper. So it's just a double A4 printed front and back that how to get their property ready for sale. It's just a basic checklist on how to prepare their home for sale from how do you prepare your living rooms? Um, how do you prepare your dining room, your kitchens, your bedrooms? Uh, how do you prepare um, your laundry, bathrooms, exterior and garden? It's just a really good tool that's you know branded to you. Again, you just you know, your, your logo on, or, you know, take that logo off, put the, the, your logo on. Um, and it's a great tool to engage withdrawn sales. But how about this? How about if it's not just withdrawn sales? How about if you did something like this? You went and generated a list of all the appraisals you've done in the past 12 months. Humans, the past 12 months, you go and get a list of all the appraisals that you've done with people that obviously haven't come on the market. Okay, so people that you've done an appraisal for, they haven't listed yet, and you go and make it your mission in the new year to go and door knock them, go and call them, and go and drop them one of these and say, hey, look, I know we spoke last year. Um, if you are thinking about selling, I thought I'd just give you a little checklist. Um, and, you know, Real estate isn't about being good, it's about being there. It's about being consistent. And Jiggler allows you to be consistent because there's over 250 templates that you can tap into at any given time that you can you know, draw down on our resources so you're constantly in people's faces, you're constantly um, you know, sort of having awareness. And then one of the last ones I'm going to share with you today before we finish up some of the best marketing ideas, you know, in Australia, Australia Day towards the end of January, you know, backyard cricket rules. Um, awesome little template on, you know, basic backyard cricket rules. You can use that as a letterbox job. You can use that as a social media post. And again, a bit of branding, a bit of profile. They print that out and um, or they use that as part of their Australia Day barbecue. People remember the little things. People remember you going above and beyond, right? Now you might say, no, backyard cricket's not a thing in our area. I, I sell in a unit market. No problems. You know, do a social media post. Happy Australia Day. Whatever it is, right? But from what, from where I'm looking at right now, um, all right. Um, if you can still hear me, my I think it's frozen. I don't know, but I don't know. So I can't back. Did I freeze then, Ray? Yeah, you froze. I um, I think I took over. No, no, no. It's, you're still viewing your screen. I think that's cool. cool. Okay. Um, yeah, it just froze. So I'm like, I'm not sure. I'll stop speaking. Um, but all I was going to say was, um, you know, regardless of um, of what you're doing, okay, you're in New Zealand. Don't use Australia Day. But here's what I know. You've got all these resources available to you. What I'd love you to do, go and take 10 minutes out, 20 minutes out after this webinar and go and plan your marketing like we've just done. I've given you all the way through from, you know, December social media all the way through to Australia Day. But here's the next, here's the next six weeks of marketing that you can engage people with to get your phone to ring that are relevant, that are topical, um, that are, are, are time-tested ideas. The last thing I was going to share with you today is around your vendor reporting. You know, as the tide is going out and the market is cooling in, in, in real estate, your, your vendor reports are becoming more and more critical. So we've included some vendor reports for you that aren't 10 pages long. Because here's what I know. If you go and get one of the portal, um, um, if you go and get one of the portal vendor reports, they're 20 pages long. Here's what I know. In a good market, everybody loves to know how well their property is going. In a cooling market, in a market that's changing, people don't read past page one. So what we've gone ahead and done is created a vendor report that gives a seller all the vital statistics on one page. So even if they don't go to page two, at least they've got uh, all the information on page one because here's the reality. An informed vendor will make an informed decision and these vendor reports will allow you to do that. So how do you use it? What do you do with it? And the, each week on a Monday, create the report, email it to them, create the report, post it to them um, to let them know about what's going on in their in, in, with their campaign and what's going on in the greater market. You know, a property um, 
that isn't sold is an expense. So there's no point listing them unless you're selling them and the vendor report's gonna allow you to do that. So Ray, I, they're the templates that I really wanted to share with everybody today. Um, yep. They're the things that I really wanted to sort of make sure that everybody saw. Um, and if you're not using those, then you're leaving money on the table, point blank. You're, you might be a good agent, but you're probably not reaching your full potential without them. That is the bottom line, period. Um, so I really wanted to share some of these templates just to make sure that we're utilising them and we're, we're leveraging the full, the full extent of, of what we can do here. I'd say, Aaron, um, be interested in, in your thoughts on this, but uh, only 5 to 10% of agents follow a solid system. Only 5 to 10% of agents are really good, even with their CRM. But like I said at the start of this call, <coughs> excuse me, time is money. So get your system set up as best you can. Yes, 100%. Uh, 100%. So uh, here's... He, uh, Ray's having a cough, so I was going to ask you a question, Ray. He's having a coughing fit, so um, you're back. Um, so what I was going to ask when you get a drink of water and you come back on, Ray, we're talking about that important notice oh, flyer. Um, me. Yep. Yeah, sorry. We're talking about the important notice flyer earlier, and I think you did an interview with Alex recently, um, and... Alex from Biwa, and he was talking, or you were talking to him about how much business um, he got from from this template. Do you just want to sort of go through the, the breakdown of, of how we use yeah, it? Yes, for, for sure, I'd love to. He from this from this one flyer, um, he worked it solidly for the first uh, year in his real estate career when he started. He's twenty years old. Those of you who, who have heard the story know will know that he was sacked as a diesel mechanic. He had a new baby. He and his girlfriend had a baby. They had just moved to a new town. He had no job. He went to the uh, local Ray White office and um, the uh, the owner there, I've forgotten his name. Do you remember? Paul. Do you know his name? Paul. Paul, that's right. Who's, Paul, Paul, Paul recognised... Uh, Gentlemen. Thank you. Paul um, recognised Alex's energy, hired him on the spot, I think. Anyway... He did $200,000 in gross commission, a little bit over, in fact, in his first, I think it was his first year. He actually did over 300000 in gross because there was um, the, there were other things and other ideas in Jiggler that he used. Plus, there was also that beautiful dynamic momentum and flow-on effect from using something that works, you get new listings, you're standing, suddenly other sellers are coming through your opens, they've got confidence, and some of the best marketing you can do is around listings that you already have, but um, that's just a massive success story right there, just, just from one specific flyer. Now, um, the science behind this, Aaron, is that I think at one point he was just using it generically for Biwa, but when, when he started, what he did was he flagged, a, a, um, understand that he flagged an alert in realestate.com, so he knew when new listings were coming up with his competitors. So he would wait about a week or 10 days. I think he had a list to sell time of about five, five or so weeks in town. So he would wait. Um, about a week to 10 days uh, when the uh, until after the listing had come up. So people around the area had, had become aware that it was coming up. Then he would get it out. Uh, and he would really only, he, he'd only get out anywhere from like 250 to 500. He didn't get out thousands and thousands. And he delivered them himself because he was new and he was, you know, and suddenly he got busy. He stopped. He stopped doing it. Then the phone stopped ringing. He realised, oh, okay, do I've got to go back. I've got to keep doing this. He kept doing it. Anyway, I think he won for the area. He won Rookie, rookie of yeah, the Year. Yeah, I think for, for, the, for the state or something. Yeah, so he did, he yep. did very good. Yep. So, but, yeah, and look, yep. as you've been talking, Ray, I've pretty much got that ready to go. Um, yep. It's uh, just changed out while you are giving that case study. So um, One of the things, Aaron, is, is that... Um, our expectation, and I'm sorry to butt in, but I reckon this is really important. I meant to say it earlier. Uh, and I've been working with a lot of agents using Jiggler over the past sort of four or five months. I do probably a couple of calls each day and I'm seeing the results. I'm talking to people and it's blown me away what some people are doing, especially, especially a lot of new people in real estate. I don't know why that is. Maybe people who are seasoned or older um, think it's all too easy, but... Um, well, our, our kind of expectations for you are, and this is me personally, if you're using this, if you've signed up for a Pro Jiggler account, so you've made the investment 
and you're you're using it, you're storing all your jiggles, you've got unlimited storage of all your jiggles or your saved designs, unlimited storage of all your images, you've got unlimited access to everything we do, plus you're getting all the extra things coming on. There's no reason why you shouldn't be you shouldn't be attracting and, and making at least one extra deal every month, if not two or three, as Alex was doing. It was phenomenally successful. So ask yourself, what's your average not your gross, but what's your take home as far as as far as money goes per deal, uh, and you should be doing that. So times that by twelve. If you're doing like five grand, if your net is five grand a month, there's sixty thousand dollars a year. You should be you should be doing if you're using this and using it properly in line with what we're doing. And as as Aaron just showed you, and I just talked about. That was just one template that's just been working exceedingly well, and it works because it's designed to work. We don't put we don't put crap in there that's not that's not going to work. The things and okay, you're not going to drop a, you're not going to drop a thousand flies and get a thousand calls. It'll never happen um, in the history of time because you've only ever got four or five percent of people that are doing anything at any one time. But you've got to play the numbers. And Aaron, as Aaron said earlier in the call, you've got to be on their radar. You've got to be making these points of contact and connecting with your farm don't shotgun it focus on it focus on the high turnover areas in in your town or in your area so um that's the simple science to it and that's why it works yeah well look even if you just pick up what we've just spoken about between now and the and australia day weekend the end of january there's that's a marketing there's there's a six-week marketing plan that's going to bring you business um you know this is the difference and here's the guarantee it works the only question yeah. is will you work it that's that's yeah. your decision right you know it's like if you go to a personal trainer to get fit. You know, the personal trainer can't do the push-ups for you. At some point, you've got to get your hands dirty. And, and now that works two ways. Either, you know, you might say, well, I haven't really, you know, got my head around Jiggly yet. Well, take 10 minutes out, reach out to Ray and I. We'll show you how to use it. We just did. It's really simple. Super easy to use. The great thing about a system like Jiggler versus a, a system like Locked On, which is a database, you know, a database can do 100 different things. Jiggler does one thing, makes awesome templates for your marketing, period. That's it. It does one thing and it does it very easily and it does it very well. So, you know, you might be sitting there saying, what's the hesitation? I don't know how to use it. Well, in a 10-minute session, that's solved. Um, or I don't know how to plan it. Well, let's take that off the table because um, I'm just showing you a, a really simple marketing strategy between now and the end of the year. So I guess yeah. the only thing that I have for everybody is, you know, if you're frustrated that you're not reaching your full potential, um, you can change that, right? 2019 is a new year. Um, you know, I would like to, and I, I, I guess the question is, would you like the exact marketing strategy step by step? Guaranteed to get you more listings and sales? The answer is, of course you would. Jiggler's got it in there. There's over 250 templates, and a lot of those templates are templates that are battle-tested that have come from my personal library and Ray's personal library that have been working for, for myself and for Ray and our coaching clients. So don't have to guess. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just plug straight in. And I guess, you know, as it says, you know, would you like battle-tested and, um, you know, industry-leading templates? It's a no-brainer. But this is the main thing, right? Would you like to become the go-to agent in your area in 2019? If you say yes to that, let us help you. You know, the, the platform is in front of you. Um, if, you're, if you've got a free account and you're not using it, it's sort of like having a Ferrari parked in your driveway with the keys in it, but you just couldn't be bothered to take it around the block. It's, it's all there in front of you. You've just got to sort of unpack it and, and have a look what's in there. And I guess the last one, which is a no-brainer, I, I see a lot of agents still trying to do a bit of D, um, DIY, right? Um, and they try yeah. to save money on marketing. Um, and they try and do it themselves, but they're not a they're not a graphic designer. Problem is, it looks like you tried to do it yourself. And yeah. if that's the thing you're putting in your client's hands, and they the first thing is underwhelming. Well, that's not a great first impression. You know, great great thing about Jiggler is you can get it on a shoestring budget and have like a three hundred thousand dollars worth of designs um, in your back pocket. So tap into what's already there. Um, yeah. you know, here's what we want to do. Anybody that's on this call today, well, I want to give you an offer. Right, you take it. Um, do what you like with it. If you think, if you're on a free account right now and you go, you know what, I really should use it, I want to make it easy for you. We'll give you 25% off um, when you pay annually. There's a promo code on your screen. Demo, 25%. Just jump in. Um, if you want to upgrade your account and you want to access to over 200, so at the moment in a free account, you get, I think, five or six or seven templates for free. 
Um, if you want to access the other 250 odd um, and save a heap of money doing it, and more importantly, make a heap of money, get more listings, use the promo code. Um, it's as simple as that. We've limited, by the way, we've limited it to the first 10. Um, there's only about 30 people, 40 people on this. We really only targeted people that weren't really using Jiggler to <laughs> Um, all our um, up and running people aren't here. Um, it's, uh, but if you want to use it, be our guest. If you don't, no problem. But if you do, call it an early Christmas present. Ray, do you want to add anything? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to add one thing. And I'd like you to think about this year and if you were happy with your marketing. Yeah. If, your, if the marketing that you used gave you the results that you wanted, then great. Then you obviously don't need this. But if it didn't, and if you want to take things to the next level in 2019, then jump on and grab this deal and, and start doing what Alex and all of these other Jiggler agents are doing. It's like just that one template. Boy, you could get in, even in your freebie period, you could jump in and, and do that as well. I'll tell you what, Aaron, we'll do, we'll do one more on this. And um, uh, our partners might uh, have our guts for garters, but I'm going to go out and do it anyway, right? 100% 100% risk reversal. Here's the thing. And it's and it's here. It's I'm recording this session, so uh, Aaron's my witness. Yeah, it's been recorded. Okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll back this up with a money back, no questions asked, thirty day guarantee. Right. That, so that's in addition to your fourteen days free. Once you sign up, if you grab this deal today, we'll know when you've come on. We'll give you thirty days. No questions asked. We want you to try it. We know that it works. And we're probably giving you those 30 days in the most challenging marketing period for the whole year, right? So, um, but you try it. You, you work it out for yourself because we think you'll really like it. So yeah. we've, uh, we've changed it. So uh, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Let us take the, let us take the risk for you. Um, you just jump in and use it. If you need any assistance, we're here to help. We're the guys that can show you around it. We'd, well, we're flying without a net there, Ray, and I wasn't sure what you were going to say, but that makes that makes a, that makes sense to me because here's the reality. You jump in, you use the promo code, right? You might say, oh, am I going to use it? Well, you've got 30 days, money back. Yep. So, you know, cheekily, you could jump in and download every template that can. So that's on you if you want to yep. do that. You know, be our guest. But the reality is this. If you go in, use the promo code, you know, it's by the way, it's three hundred and fifty-one dollars USD with that promo code. So when you look at that um, over a period of time, um, what's that work out to? About a dollar a day, dollar forty, a dollar forty Aussie a day, thereabouts. I worked it out at a dollar thirty, then sort of fat factored in a little bit of inflation and, and bits and pieces. So dollar thirty, dollar forty a day for Aussie. Um, probably a dollar thirty Aussie, dollar forty NZ. A day. Now, if you were to go and try and get one of these marketing templates created by a graphic designer, basically it's going to cost you the full membership of, or the, you know, the full subscription of Jiggler for a year. So if you use just one template and use it well, pay for the, for the rest of it. Oh, yeah, we're showing you sort of 10 marketing templates. We haven't shown you, you know, the, the property brochures and the buying booklets and all the other stuff there will be here for, for weeks. But my point is this. There's nowhere else where you can go and get custom, industry-specific templates um, that work for $1.40 a day. So, you know, if you want to do it, great. And I think you were talking, Ray, um, before about um, if somebody wanted a one-on-one. -on -one. If you guys, I think the thing was, if you guys come on board and you upgrade your account from free to paid, um, what did you say, Ray, you're going to do, or we were going to do like a one-on-one -on -one with them or something? Yeah, I... I I'm I'm happy to, I mean, you and I have got our own brand of, of, of what we do, slightly different, but essentially the same. Um, I'd look at, I'd like to do a, uh, if somebody comes on with this, I'll set up, let's do an hour coaching call. Let's look at your, your overall marketing, like even beyond Jiggler, what are you doing? What kind of initiatives are you doing at the moment that we can bring in? I'll help you create something if you want. Save it into your jiggles. We'll jump into your account. We'll do a screen share. Have some fun with it. But let's get set up. Let's make it work. There's three packages already gone, Aaron, so there's only seven okay. left. Cool. So, um, if, well, I can't if you see guys... because my screen's open, so you've probably got your email open. Yep, I can see my, well, I tried to shut my email down, but it's, um, for some reason, it's still coming through. So, um, in any case, uh, we'll leave, leave this open for a little bit. If you want to jump in and grab something, we, we're here to help you. So, um, um, plenty of evidence that it's working. Yeah, well, that was Alex's one that we're talking about, you know. 
What do you say? I just wanted to let you know I'm smashing it from Jiggler. In my first year of real estate, I made more than $200,000 in gross commissions purely from the Jiggler templates. at 25 listings, 18 sales, and I wouldn't have had that without Jiggler. It helped me, national rookie. Uh, it wasn't state rookie. It was national rookie of the year. That's awesome. Um, that's cool. Um, these are your clients, right? Coaching clients, I think, from um, yeah, Utah? Yeah, from, from Park City in Utah. It's... Um, uh, it's just outside, up the hill from Salt Lake City. Very interesting part of the world. Amazing skiing, actually. Yep. But um, Tom, Tom and Layla have done brilliantly. They, they were one of the first uh, people to come on in the in the US. And they just, I, I mean, I follow uh, Layla on, on uh, Facebook, but she's using it basically every day. They've got terrific market share in, in, uh, in Park City and they're just smashing it. Um, they've given us some really cool ideas, get a lot of great feedback. But, you know, it's like anything else. They, they make it work. Um, in that part of Utah, those of you that, if I don't know if anybody's familiar with Utah, the state in the US, but things have got a lot tighter in the last uh, probably 12 months. And and they're saying that Jiggler's been a big part of helping them connect with more people, build their database, build their, build their contacts, get more listings and make more sales. Yeah. Now, a um, little bit of a typo from the professionals, but... Uh, Professionals, okay, that's cool. You've got an S where there should be a, an H where there should be an S, but uh, yeah, that, Scott's that, done. That, that was me Scott's typing done. late at night last night with foggy eyes. Yeah, that was that was Scott's me done. doing that at one at one a.m. I think. Mate, Scott's done super well. Uh, what, what what a great guy, but uh, he just loves it. He's jumped in and made it happen. So um, uh, I think that's an awesome. That's I really awesome. liked his testimonial, like when he put that on yeah. Facebook. Jiggler is super easy to use. Someone was asking him what it is. Jiggler is yeah. super easy to use. has a ton of great game. Uh, is, is, has a ton of great stuff. Game changers, the Uber of marketing uh, for real estate design. And realistically, what it is, um, you know, you don't really need a graphic designer anymore. You don't need to wait weeks um, or, or you know days or weeks for your designs to come back. You can knock them out in ten minutes. Basically, you know, it's a marketing agency done for you without having to pay tens of thousands of dollars for a marketing agency. Yeah. It's like, well, here's your content. You yep. can customise it and then you've got a bit of flexibility of what you want to have sent. So it's, it's pretty cool. I really like it. So, um, And I guess the bottom line is, you know, for those of you who don't know the website, that is the website, um, which I, I thought yeah, you could. Thank you. <laughs> I, was just, I just had a question, Ree, that what, what, was the, um, what was the promo code? So when you go in, you just go into your account, basically. You yep. click upgrade. Yep. Um, and... And you can do it. It's it's that easy. And then you can put your demo um, promo code in there, and and you're knocking, like we said, you bring, like US, you bring it down to under a buck a day, or a dollar thirty eight, or a dollar forty. It's a dollar. It's ninety three or ninety six cents US a day. So, yeah. But we'll leave that open for half an hour or so. If you want to jump in and grab it with that code, the offer's right there. Um, Probably not a whole lot more that we can add. Any questions, no, please? Just let questions. Us know. Yeah. Questions. Any questions? Um, let us know. Lee Sutherland. By the way, I listed one of the responses with a potential twenty-seven thousand GCI. Whoa, that's awesome. He's just paid for his. Lee's just paid for his. Uh, he's jiggling for the next forty years. I think that's a. That's an amazing. <laughs> effort, whatever it works out to, that's crazy. So. Um, so congratulations, Lee. That's a that's a terrific result. I I get these emails every day, Aaron, from people from people saying, oh, "I just wanted to let you know, you know, I didn't I didn't know that it was going to work. I thought it was a lot of BS. I thought it was a lot of hype, um, but I did it. I got it out there. It's amazing, you know, mate. Action creates action. Yeah. All you got to do is get started and get out there and make it work. So um, anyway, any questions? Like Aaron said, maybe just I'll type it here. The email support at jiggler dot com yeah dot com send us a message we'll get it uh and let's set up a call if you'd like any more information you've got any questions at all if you've got a particular project maybe something's going on in your area i'm seeing a lot of people aaron use the facebook covers to promote a local charity that's coming up yep. bloody top idea and doing a doing a facebook post for the local charity because what happens then when you do it um you know you might say aaron shiner proud supporter of uh, breast cancer walk, Mount Druid, yep. or whatever it might be, and you copy the you copy them in it. They'll share it, and you might you might even make a donation. Why 
why not? Why wouldn't you? But they share it. So suddenly you're in front of all of these people that you that you never realised you'd be in front of. And that's the beauty of social media. You don't need to spend a lot of money getting um, getting leads and stuff. You can just make it work like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, look, there's so many, there's so many different Facebook things in there. There's so many... Uh, well, there's like there's your you know a, a banner or a template header template you know so if you want to put that on your Facebook so people know who you are how to find you and as you said simple as you know yep. getting there yep. typing it yep. um, there's there, there's a you know, um, yeah hey why don't you why don't you just go back in while you've got the screen? Why don't you just go back to uh, Facebook covers because there's a cool Christmas one that's just been uploaded as well. Yeah, uh-huh. Facebook one point four one. Uh, just keep going. Facebook covers. There it is. Any of those? Those Christmas ones. So you yeah, can. Okay. Any in particular that take your fancy? Uh, I like the I like the one second from the left because it's got dark. Yeah, it's got some dark type, and then you can and then you can uh, you can throw some writing up over that. So uh, Aaron, six of six packages are gone. There's four okay. left. Cool. So uh, right. when ten are gone, guys, ten are gone. So. That's um, they're our instructions from our partners. So uh, it is what it is. But yeah, you can use something like that. So you can throw your logo there, and you can type up on the right, or you can put you could put your your personal image up on the right. Yeah, I like it if it's on. Get on a transparent. Yeah, there's your there's your. There's my transparent logo. Yep. Nice. And then you can put your image over on the right. If you got oh. you on a transparent background? Uh, I don't know if I do. I think I'm only maybe. I, I think I saw it there. Is that you on the right there on a, on a yeah, transparent? Yeah, I think this background? is me on transparent. Wee. There, there we go. Now yeah. it's open. I nearly said you were a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you put, put yourself on the other side and use that over on the right side and use that flip tool so you're looking into the design. Is it this one? Is it, is it this one uh, here? No, hard left. No, that's it. That's it. But the tool, hard left. Now the other one, right over to the left, further, the one that says flip, that, that one there. There, there you go. go. So you're, you're leaning sort of, I, I think from a design point of view, any good You've graphics guy in. will tell you. Always got to lean in. Yeah, so you're yeah. leaning into the design, you're opening it up, you're not taking it over. Yeah. So, by the way, guys, if you want to get your image on a transparent background so you can throw it up in front of anything, all you need to do is go to jiggler.com forward slash shop. And I think it's 20 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever, but the guys will, will crop you out. It's a, It takes about half an hour, but they'll crop you out, crop the background out. So you've got, see the clean lines around Aaron's shoulders and stuff like that? I reckon um, I've made an improvement to this template. What do you reckon? That nice new suit looks good. Yeah. Looks good. I reckon smart. I should just leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so so you can do whatever you, you want with it and have a little bit of fun with it. So, um. Quite a few of the agents I know, each week, like the weeks coming up to Christmas, they, they, they just change it. They put a fresh template in. Sometimes it's their, it's their office party. They throw a logo on, on front of it. Um, and you can take that background off behind and put something else behind that as well. So anyway, plenty of options. Um, now, did that, did you... Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Have a super Christmas. Yeah. I love it. Yep. You're an ideas man. I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just freestyling at this point. Um, we're in the, we're in the Q and A part, so I'm just, uh, yeah. having some fun, just showing people, I don't know, what you can do. I guess. Uh, totally cool. Always good. All right, I guess that's a bit, that's a wrap. I guess. Any other questions before we finish up, guys? There's three places. There's three packages left. So if you'd like one, let us know, uh, and we will make it happen. Um, on behalf of Aaron and behalf of uh, all, uh, all of our partners at Jiggler, uh, the whole team, have a great Christmas. If you're taking holidays, enjoy it. Um, we're going to be here for next year. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit cautious about what's going to happen, but both Aaron and I are really optimistic about 2019. I think it's going to be a, a year of some challenges, but some immense opportunities. So all I can say is just get prepared, get ready, get set up, hit the ground running. Because you know what? If you aren't out there approaching your your sellers with innovative ideas, your competitors will be. Mm. So our advice is get in and make it happen. Agreed. All right. Well, I think that's it. Let's uh, let, get everybody on, on to the onto their day. So taking up enough of the time. So guys, in a nutshell, 
get in, use the templates, schedule when you're going to deliver them, schedule when you're going to action them, um, get prepared between now and end of uh, January and have your best start to 2019 ever. And that was really the goal for today, giving you the tools, showing you exactly what marketing you can do to help you do that. So again, remember, it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. Other than that, I guess it's over now. Good luck, everybody. Take, Take care, care, Aaron. See you soon, bye -bye. mate. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Care. See you guys. Bye.